in question 2 we have to use this identity x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b x plus a b to find each of the following seven products that you see here now let's observe this identity for a minute x plus a into x plus b is equal to this product on the right side the way to think about this identity is that when you have a product of the form x plus a into x plus b which is basically the product of two binomials in which uh, one term is common so you have x and x in both the binomials and the other terms are not common so you have a and you have b right so whenever you have a product of this form it can be expanded as shown on the rhs where you take the square of the common term then you add the non-common terms and multiply it with the common term and the third term is the product product of the non-common terms so this is how you can think about this identity now let's apply this identity to each of the uh, seven uh, parts that we have so in the first part we have the product x plus 3 times x plus 7 so the common part is the common part is x and the non-common uh, terms in the two binomials are 3 and 7 so now let's apply the identity so we take the square of the common part so we get x square then we add the non-common parts so we add 3 and 7 and multiply it with the common part and then we take the product of the non-common parts which will become the third term so 3 into 7 so this becomes x square plus 3 plus 7 is 10 10 into x is 10x so x square plus 10x plus 3 into 7 is 20 1. So this expression x square plus 10x plus 21 this is the product in part 1. So this completes part 1. Now let's go to part 2. In part 2 we have the product 4x plus 5 times 4x plus 1. So in this product the common part in the two binomials is 4x. So you have 4x in both the binomials and the non-common part is 5 uh, the non-common terms are 5 and 1 so let's apply the identity now so we take the square of the common part so 4x square then we add the non-common terms so we add 5 and 1 and we multiply it with the common term so 5 plus 1 into 4x and then the third term is the product of the common terms so 5 into 1 okay so 4x whole square is 16x square and then we have 5 plus 1 is 6 and 6 into 4 is 24 so the second term we will get is 24 x and then we have 5 into 1 which is 5 so this expression 16 x square plus 24 x plus 5 this is the product in the second part next we come to part 3 in which the product we have to calculate is 4 x minus 5 times 4x minus 1 so in this uh, product in the two binomials the common term is 4x and the non-common terms are minus 5 and minus 1 so let's apply the identity now so we take the square of the common term so 4x whole square then we add the non-common terms so we add minus 5 and minus 1 we add these two uh, non-common terms and multiply it with the common term which is 4x and then we multiply the non-common terms so we multiply minus 5 and minus 1 to get the third term in the product okay now 4x whole square is uh, 16x square then we have minus 5 plus minus 1 so minus 5 plus minus 1 will be minus 6 minus 6 into 4x so actually let's write this first so we will get uh, minus 6 inside the bracket so minus 6 into 4x and then we have minus 5 into minus 1 which is plus 5 okay now in the final step we multiply minus 6 with 4x so minus 6 into 4 is minus 24 so we will get 16x square minus 24x uh, plus 5 so this expression 16x square minus 24x plus 5 this is the product in part 3 now we come to part 4 in part 4 we have to calculate 4x plus 5 times 4x minus 1 so in this product in the two binomials the common term is 4x 
and the non common terms are 5 and minus 1 so let's apply the identity now so we will get uh, the square of the common term so 4x square and then we add the non common terms so we add 5 and minus 1 and multiply this with the common term so 4x and then finally we multiply the non common terms so 5 into minus 1 okay now 4x whole square is 16x square then we have 5 plus minus 1 is 4 and 4 into 4x will be 16x so we will get uh, 16x as our second term and then we have 5 into minus 1 which is minus 5 so we get minus 5 so this expression 16x square plus 16x minus 5 this is the product in part 4 next we come to part 5 in which we have to calculate the product 2x plus 5y times 2x plus 3y so in these two binomials in the product the common term is 2x so we have 2x in both the binomials and the non-common terms are 5y and 3y so let's apply the identity now so we take the square of the common term so 2x whole square then we add the non-common terms so we add 5y and 3y and multiply this sum with the common term and finally we multiply the non-common terms so we take 5y into 3y okay so 2x whole square is 4x square then we have 5y plus 3y that's 8y so 8y into 2x and then the third term will be 5y into 3y so that's 15y square because 5 into 3 is 15 and y into y is y square so we get 4x square and then 8y into 2x so 8 into 2 is 16 and y into x is xy so the second term will be 16xy so we write 16xy and then the last term is 15y square okay so this expression 4x square plus 16xy plus 15y square this is the product in part 5 next we go to part 6 in which we have to calculate 2a square plus 9 times 2a square plus 5 so in this product in the two binomials the common term is 2a square and the non-common terms are 9 and 5 okay so let's apply the identity now so we will get take the square of the common term so 2a square whole square then we add the non-common terms 9 and 5 and multiply this sum with the uh, common term and then we take the product of the non-common terms so 9 into 5 now 2a whole square uh, 2a square whole square will be 4 a to the power 4 because the square of a square will be a to the power 4 then we have 9 plus 5 which is 14 and 14 into 2a square so 14 into 2 is 28 so we will get 28 a square as the second term and finally we will have 9 into 5 which is equal to 45 so this expression 4a to the power 4 plus 2 uh, plus 28a square plus 45 this is the product in part 6 finally we come to part 7 in which we have to calculate the product x y z minus 4 times x y z minus 2 so in this product in the two binomials the common term is x y z and the non common terms are minus 4 and minus 2 so these are the non common terms so let's apply the identity now so we take the square of the common term so the common term is x y z so we get x y z whole square then we add the non common terms so we add minus 4 and minus 2 we add these two terms and multiply this sum with the common term x y z and finally we also multiply the non common terms so minus 4 into minus 2 all right now x y z whole square will be x square y square z square that's the first term then we have minus 4 plus minus 2 that's minus 6 into x y z this is the second term and then we have minus 4 into minus 2 is the third term which is plus 8 so we have plus 8 okay and finally we can write this as x square y square z square 
then minus 6 into x y z we can add this as minus 6 x y z and then we have 8 so this expression x square y square z square minus 6 x y z plus 8 this is the uh, product in part 7 and with this we have completed question number 2 to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.